This is our last video for the flip flop series. And today we're going to be talking about dropped arches. And what does that mean? I think it's just pretty much in the namesake where your arch is dropped. So in the medical field, it's known as pronation. So it's when your medial or the inner arch here on your foot just drops, okay? And let me know if anyone here suffers from that. I do on this leg. Um, I know you can actually, if you're standing, you can look down at your feet and see if you have one foot that drops, one arch that drops more than the other, and it might correlate to other issues in your body. Like, do you have more knee issues on that side or hip issues on that side? Maybe some tighter muscles, maybe check it out and see, because that can really solve some of the problem or the puzzle. And if you tend to wear flip-flops with no arch support and you have pronation, well, that is kind of a no-no. You probably know that already, but maybe I'm teaching you something new. I'm not sure. Um, I don't practice what I preach. I have a dropped arch here and I still love to wear these flip-flops. See how there's no support here. And surprise, surprise, I may get some pretty bad knee issues after I wear them. But there's a way to help keep those arches lifted or to um, just gain more muscular control of your feet. It's called short foot. And it's a non sexy exercise. <laughs> it's like one of those where you're like, really, I have to do my short foot. It's an exercise where it's hard to remember, right? You're like, oh, yeah that thing i need to do that so this may just be a reminder for you to do it and it's super easy to do because you can do it when you're sitting down watching tv um, before we do our short foot which is pretty much grabbing into the floor to um activate here uh, uh grab actually a hand towel or even just a piece of clothing nearby something you can grab onto and I want to start stretching your toe extensors before we work the arches of your feet. It's great to get that flexibility here um, so you can have the best optimal experience of really engaging that the bottom of the foot. Okay, so from here, we're going to take your hand on top of your toes and push your toes up, up, up into your hand. So that'll engage your toe extensors. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. And then you're just gonna take your foot into a stretch. So think pointed toes, ballerina toes, right? Oh, got a little crack there. This might make you cramp a little bit in the foot. That's okay. And let's do one more. Push the tops of your toes into the hand. Release and stretch. Pull the toes back. Good. That's it. Nice. Okay, and release. And let's just do quickly the other side because when we're going to do short foot, we're going to do both feet at the same time. Push, push. Release and stretch. If you get a god awful cramp underneath your foot during this, go ahead and do that again. Um, my recommendation is to just let the cramp do its thing. Just sit there with it. Sometimes the toe will like cramp up and it's so uncomfortable. And you just have to wait it out and release. You can rub it too if you want, but sometimes they're so severe that they just don't want to let go. Pull the foot into a stretch. Good and release. Lovely. Okay, so this one's very simple. You're basically, and do your hands too, because sometimes the brain hand foot connection works really well. So sit up tall up on your seat, open the toes, look at the feet, make, the, make sure they're even, make sure there's a little spread between each toe. And then with your hands and feet, you're just gonna make a fist. So grab, and then as you release, re-spread. See, I'm doing it with my hands too, and squeeze. 
and reach. Now look at your feet when you're doing this. Are you grabbing from the pinky toe a little bit more than the big toe? That's really common. Those are for my supinators. So really pull in through the big toe as well. Make sure there's equal opportunity between each toe. Give me two more. This can make you cramp as well. Spread, one more. Squeeze, spread, release. Now, this one's a little harder to do in concept. We're gonna take the toes out of the mix. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the metatarsal heads or the knuckles of your feet towards the heel. So look down and just make sure that the toes are nice and long and you're gonna pull and that's gonna shorten or lift your arch, your medial arch. Pull and release. And sometimes it's hard to do for, for some people. So give it some time. Um, you might not get it the first few times. Uh, if your toes are automatically grabbing, just think about the toes going along for the ride, right? So you're pulling the, basically the ball of your feet, so the metatarsal heads to the heel. I'm pulling and I'm squeezing my toes together a little bit to do that. But you'll notice when you do that, that medial arch really lifts. And I can tell there's a big difference from this foot to this foot. My arch is way lower on this foot. So I'm gonna work a little harder on the, um, the weaker side, the more stretched out side. Yeah, give me one more. Okay, beautiful. Take your hand towel, you're gonna spread it, and we're gonna put our toes right in the front end, and you're gonna grab and grab. It's easier, I'm on carpet, it's easier on wood floor or linoleum. That's also hard to say. Flip flop series on linoleum. Everyone say that 10 times really fast. So keep pulling towards you. And again, this might make the foot cramp as well. But this one's great because you're pulling and then you're extending the toes, right? Think hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> Remember that game? <laughs> hungry, hungry. I loved that game. I gotta go find it. It's probably at a thrift store somewhere. And you can even kick the, the towel away with your toes so then you can make more towel space to pull it back in. This is a great workout for your feet. Oh my goodness, so good. Work in the bottoms of the feet. Yeah. Buff feet, everyone. <laughs> Look at those feet. Good, and release. Lovely, nice. Now look at your feet. Maybe you, you see that the arch is a little bit more lifted. Um, but I would recommend doing this like through the summer and also just maybe once a week as you go along when you remember, but we forget about our feet because our feet, they're so far away from our brains. So we don't normally think about it. We're just, we're, we're judging ourselves in the mirror, right? Oh, I need to work my abs. Oh, I need to work my butt, like all that stuff. But the feet, they're really a gateway to healthy knees. They're a gateway to healthy hips, okay? So if you have a dropped arch, um, you're pronated. If you have a dropped arch, chances are you have plantar fasciitis or you are going to get plantar fasciitis. Keep those arches nice and lifted, keep them strong, and let me know if you did the video and how you liked it. And also let me know if you want to know of anything else. If you want me to do a video on pinky finger strengthening, I don't know. Let me know what you need. I'm happy to come on here and help you out. All right, have a wonderful rest of your week and we'll see you soon. Bye.